What's up guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you the best budget mirrors for your Jeep when running no doors. Alright, so set one will be removing your doors. All it is is a 13mm um, spanner to remove these two nuts on your door hinges. Take those off, pop the door off, and we'll start talking about the mirrors. Alright, now that we've got the doors off, we can start talking about the mirrors. Now in Australia, it's not exactly 100% legal to drive around with no doors on. Don't ask me why, I'm not exactly sure of something about that. It wasn't like that from the factory, yada yada, something, something. But people still do. Um, so it's not that often that I drive around with no doors on. So I don't want to go out and spend a whole lot of money. Now I've seen ones on eBay, on it. Even on eBay, you can get ones that are like eighty dollars, a hundred dollars, and for something I'm not going to use that often, I don't really want to spend that much money. Um, but I still want something to look good, uh, be functional, um, and really easy to take off um, and on when I want to. Or I could just leave in my glove box um, or in the back of the Jeep and just chuck them, chuck them on when I want to. So I found these after searching for a while. I found these. These, they look pretty cool actually, I think they look cool. If you guys don't like them, um, fine by me, we're all different. But, I found these. These are actually for a motorbike. Um, and funny enough, they actually come in a pack of two. So, perfect, awesome. Um, you can have one on each side so you can see where you're going and what's behind you and whatever. But, I found these. These are motorbike mirrors, they're made for a motorbike. And they've got a cool like little... Um, bend in there as well. It's got a threaded end and it comes with a nut on the other side. So all it is, let's flip you around. So where you pull the door um, off from, well where your door slides into I guess, um, the only problem, the only problem with these mirrors is that you've got, there's like a little sleeve, oh, I don't know if you can see in that one, it's got like a little sleeve but there that the actual hinge sits in, you have to take it out of that one to get these mirrors in. It may be different for other brands of mirrors or if you buy a different brand of motorbike mirrors, but for these ones that I bought, um, you've got to take that sleeve out. So, all it is, take the nut off, slide it through, position it where you want to, that looks awesome. Hey guys, what's up? So, there's just enough thread at the bottom, in there, to get that nut on the end. Try and do this with one hand, because I look like an idiot. And, boom, done. It's got something small, not overly big. Uh, that's adjustable as well, so you can adjust it um, wherever you want. Tight, just tighten that up as much as you want. And boom, done. It looks pretty good. You know the best part about it, they are pretty damn cheap. I've even seen them go for second hand, so I picked these ones up for $33. I know it's normally a lot more than what I normally spend, but it's a lot cheaper than buying them online. Didn't have to wait for shipping. So all I did was go down to my local motorbike shop, um, and they've got a whole range of them. They've got chrome, chrome ones, white ones, black ones, red ones, brown ones. Whatever colour Jeep you got, they probably have got the same colour there. Um, I want a black, obviously I got a, a black Jeep. So, $32 for a set of two. Um, don't have to wait for shipping and pick them up that day. But, you can save a little bit more money. Um, just go on Facebook, buy and sell, or we call it Gumtree in Australia, or Trade Me in New Zealand, whatever it is in America, England, wherever you're from. Just go on their like buy and sell pages and stuff like that. And there's people selling these um, for $10, $15. So let someone else spend that full price, spend $30, and then you can pick yourself up a bargain. Um, and they look pretty damn good. All right, guys. So really happy with the way the mirrors actually look. Uh, let me know if you like the way they look as well. Um, 
but they're nice, cheap, easy, uh, simple. You can put them in your glove box, you put them in your center console, under your seat, or whatever. Um, because in Australia, it's technically sort of illegal to drive with no doors on. Uh, I'm sure you guys are going to be like, what the hell, why can't you drive with no doors on? Uh, it's something to do with that it wasn't um, from the factory that it came from the factory of doors, it has to have doors on or something, something. Even though it says on my soft top that the doors and the roof offer no structural uh, protection to the op occupants of the vehicle whatsoever. Um, but by Australian law, you have to have doors. But um, owning a Jeep, you really want to take your doors off. So sometimes we do run no doors, even though we do run the risk of a fine um, here and there. But if you've ever driven with no doors off, you know that it's um, a hell of a feeling. It's so good just driving down the motorway, no doors off, fully exposed. It's fucking awesome. But um, to kind of minimise the fine, um, it's better to have mirrors if you do get pulled up. So it's just saying cheap and easy that you can keep on you um, if you do have issues with the cops at all. Um, normally the cops are pretty cool, they say go home, check your doors on and they kind of leave you alone. Sometimes, sometimes they can be pricks and give you a ticket for having no mud flaps at all. And I'll leave a link to that video up here if you want to watch it. But that's pretty much it for today guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you next time.